Hi! Today I'm gonna go to my first online media event. I think it's my first. I can't think of anything else I've done like this. It's for Disney weddings and this weekend around Valentine's Day they're celebrating their 30th anniversary and they're gonna have a what they're calling celebration and fashion show online. So I believe the fashion show is to showcase their um, like Disney wedding dresses sold through Allure Bridals in Kleinfeld and I'm very excited to get to learn more about it. I'll tell you more um, after when I know. Disney Wedding sent me this box and said to wait until today to open it. We're going to unbox it together and I think they're going to talk through what's in it and Jim is good. Jim's very excited <laughs> to see what's in there too. <laughs> I don't think there's a cookie boo. There's a, this is actually from our wedding years ago I need to organize it still so ironically there's a bunch of wedding stuff and you're your husband and my husband I'm a, I'm a wedding I'm a wedding stuff <laughs> you're a wedding stuff too Scarlett got to go right Scarlett was at our wedding she was in attendance and then she was in the photos after yeah you went to the church not to the dinner I'm a really big fan of Disney weddings. I have not had my own. When we got married, we stayed at the Grand Floridian. I got my hair and makeup done at the Grand, and we came back later in the night and watched the fireworks from there, but the actual wedding was at a nearby church, and then we did, I, won't, I can't say small, I was gonna say, we did a small dinner. There were a lot of people, it was like, it was over 70 people. Um, just like a little more relaxed dinner at a restaurant nearby. So we didn't have a Disney wedding. It, we wanted to include Disney and we did in um, like subtle ways at the reception uh, at the dinner. And uh, it was like staying at Disney for us was a big part of it because it felt like we turned it into a weekend. We had a lot of family in town. They were all going to Disney. So that was really nice. But Jim already knows that I want to have a magical Disney Val renewal. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> there was a hot second when I thought we might have had it last year before everything was happening because I was accomplishing some big financial goals I had been working on and then but our five-year anniversary is coming up in 20 to 22 right 17 plus 5 is 22 so who knows could be next year I don't think I'd want to do it this year there'll still be a lot of stuff happening and I'll tell you, I feel for the brides right now. Oh, I can't imagine. I had a friend that had a Disney wedding the week before everything closed down. And it was like her whole trip played out. It was like she left and then everything started to close. And Disney closed the next weekend. I mean, it was, it was just, she got so lucky. And I'm so glad everything worked out. But all of you couples that have been waiting, oh my gosh. I mean, can you imagine? I just, I feel for you having to decide what to do. It's a lot. So I have seen Disney weddings are back up and running and they're working it out and figuring it out. And I know the people that have been waiting are probably so grateful they get to do it, even if it's a little different. And I'm excited for weddings to be back and going at regular, you know, full out the way they're supposed to. So what I'm watching today is an event talking about how they're celebrating online this weekend. So today was invite only, but everything I'm learning about is something you can go to. So if you're excited about Disney weddings, might want a vow renewal or, um, they have, you know, it's honeymoons and engagements. It's the whole, um, all of the love things with Disney weddings. You can watch this weekend, February 12th, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern on DisneyWeddings.com slash fashion dash show and I think it's just streaming this weekend and you can watch whenever um but I'll tell you more information after ah, I count down Let's see and um, this beautiful cast hair we just thought this would be fun for you to have as well as what we're seeing is our wedding couples are gifting their bridal parties or their wedding guests something that they can reuse over and over again so we hope you enjoy it so Cheers to lots of love and happiness in 20 year first year of the rest of the trend for how couples are playing. And also, we couldn't send you a Disney box without some lovely new ears. So we hope you enjoy these rose ears. You know, maybe you're wearing them now, maybe you took a selfie, or maybe you're giving them something special. And speaking of merchandise, you may not know, but we actually have.
has an entire Disney Fairy Tale Weddings fine jewelry collection of engagement rings and wedding bands. And in just a minute, you're going to see our 30th anniversary engagement ring. And I have to say, it is quite beautiful. Putting these on right now. We're hearing about wedding trends. Jim loves jelly beans. Champagne. Jelly beans. A sneak peek. The Allure Bridal's Disney wedding dresses. This is Jasmine. She is from our mainline collection. Very It's Belle's 30th anniversary too. We chose a very classic. I love this cut of dress. Creating that uniqueness to her style story. You'll <gasps> notice detailing. that the Art Deco inspired lace applique style so is the beautiful three-dimensional apple blossom applique created from Siobhan and Organza. Wow. It simply dances throughout the entire design of this collection <gasps> into Ooh. the United Kingdom, Ireland, and in Mexico. Yay! Thank you so much. These ears were in the box. Loving this so far. It's so fun. I would totally be going to try those dresses on to show you how they look if things were different right now. Jim, you're excited about something that was in the box? Is this your favorite candy? <laughs> what What is it? Jelly Belly Champagne flavored jelly beans. Oh, it is Jelly Belly, yeah. too. That's so cute. We're going to try some champagne jelly beans. Wow. It does taste like champagne. Yeah. Good to me. Those are really good, actually. I like that one. We're going to have to share those, actually. Okay. Sorry, bud. No, this is the <laughs> first time you've liked a jelly bean. I know. Champagne jelly beans are actually just a really cute idea for, like, if you have a morning thing, like a morning wedding, or if you have kids and you just want to, like, you know, have champagne-y vibes but not drink disney's fairy tale weddings and honeymoons sent this beautiful box and said wait and let's open it together so i waited and inside was this beautiful pair of like champagne colored ears they're awesome and a lot of the newer ears don't stay on my big hair as well but these do so i'm really hopeful um they had also this sketch which is highlighting some of their new uh bridal designs i know that this one i think these all might be bell i'm not sure but i know this one is for sure and the actual dress is so gorgeous these dresses are like more sparkly i forgot what she said we wanted more sparkle more drama and more magic and i feel like they really nailed it i can't wait to see them all we got to see a preview of like four different dresses today gorgeous there was like sparkle tulle and a huge bow on one like definitely tune in this weekend to see so they also sent me one of these you can't really see it but it's iridescent these are a pretty popular like wedding uh gift like bridal party situation and i actually did get one of these um as a gift for my wedding so love a good corksicle they also included this beautiful little pen and the champagne jelly beans that taste so good. I actually don't like jelly beans, but I love these. And Jim said they have them at five below. And then just a look into some of their details at Disney Fairy Tale Wedding. So I got to hear about some of the trends and stuff, the safety measures they're putting in um, for the current times. And in addition to social distancing, face coverings. Um, they're also like scheduling the day differently to help um, make it a little more safe. You have to see this actual box though. Oh, it's so pretty. That was so fun. And again, that was like a little preview um, that I got to go to today. But the real, the main event is this weekend. It's actually starting February 12th. I believe it goes through the weekend. There's more information on the site. I'm going to link it below. And you can go and watch their celebration and fashion show. I'll be watching. 
I'm a huge fan. I'm very excited to see the new dresses and um, just like they have all kinds of wedding inspiration. Um, and Vow Renewal. Don't forget. Some of us are in that crowd. That's me. Some other info I wanted to share. So Disney Weddings reopened at Walt Disney World in October. You can still um, be planning and booking weddings elsewhere, um, but they are working on their phased reopenings. So Disney World is a go. Everywhere else, you can at least get the process started. And the price range, somebody asked the price range of Disney weddings. It depends on the day of the week, your guest count, and the venue. And they start at 5000 So that's for a more like intimate wedding. And they had a new venue, the Enchanted Rose. So that is where Meisner's Bar used to be um, at the Grand Floridian on the second floor. And you can have that for smaller weddings. Very exciting. Um, it's beautiful in there. It's like very dark and like, I don't know the right word for it. Like, it feels very fancy. It has a lot of character. That's what we'll go with. Um, so the planning process right now, they were saying that they're doing a lot on Zoom. So they're still having that time with their couples who are planning the weddings using, you know, video calls like everybody is. Um, and then I think you might know this, but if you don't, I wanted to share too, because I think this is so fun that, um, they were talking about trends. And one of the things with Disney weddings is like the food is so exciting. So they shared like, you know, with your cake, you could get like Mickey bars or something. Um, you know, like the beer cheddar soup or whatever that is from like food and wine and, um, uh, La Cellier and stuff. You can get, you know, special Disney food that you love brought in for, for your wedding. So, um, they will also make like a family recipe. So if you have like your grandma's special sauce or something, you can give them the recipe and they will make it for your wedding. Isn't that amazing? Oh, they also shared like this fun fact that I totally agree with, like destination weddings, like a highlight of that is that it's longer than a day and you kind of get to like keep celebrating with all your loved ones and that's like ours wasn't a destination wedding for us but it was for everyone else because we had a lot of family come from other places um pretty much everyone came from somewhere else nobody lives in town just like our friends lived in town so I love that um everyone's kind of there to celebrate you and you know you can make additional memories aside from your wedding day or stretch out your celebrating and a lot of people will have like a welcome party um, like a, I went to one actually, um, it was really cool. It was a dessert party at Epcot in the UK and there was like a nacho bar and we had the best view for the fireworks and it was so fun. Um, that was, that was really awesome. And the couple whose wedding that was, <laughs> um, Britt and Rachel, they were featured in, there was like video of them featured in the thing I saw today and I was like, I know them! I went to that wedding! So that was really cool. Um, they're, like, such a cute couple. She looked gorgeous. He's, like, so fun and nice and, yeah, so happy memories. Um, but yeah, that was all the details I wanted to share. However, you can watch and get way more info and see all the stuff and I will be watching too because I want to see all this stuff. Um, their new bridal gown collection they also have new wedding rings and bands. They'll be available on ShopDisney.com. And those start at $900 for groom bands and $3,000 for engagement rings. I think that was it. So you can see all of that on their 30th anniversary celebration and fashion show. It's going to be hosted by um, Ashley Eckstein. So excited to see her on there. She had a Disney wedding 15 years ago, she was saying online. So very excited for that and that's going to be starting February 12th at 10 a.m. I'm going to put the link below. I'm really excited about it. Have you had a Disney wedding or are you interested in one or a vow renewal? Let me know in the comments because I'm curious. I want to know. So I'm looking forward to watching this weekend the uh, celebration and fashion show online. Everyone can stream that. Again the information is below. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a magical day.